In the ethereal tapestry of literary history, there exists a figure whose words resonate as echoes from distant shores, carrying profound philosophical musings that dance upon the borders of human existence. His name is Fernando Pessoa, and he emerges as a luminary amidst the constellation of great minds in the realm of literature. Born into a world clocked in the twilight of the 19th century, Pessoa's footsteps were guided by the hand of destiny, weaving a tale of tribulation and triumph. His early years were marked by family crisis, casting shadows upon his tender soul. The hunting specters of his father's demise and the untimely passing of his beloved brother cast a pall over his existence, sculpting his thought into a vessel forced in the fires of grief. But from the crucible of suffering, a singular consciousness arose, a philosopher poet who turned his gaze inward, venturing to unravel the enigma of human experience. Pasua's profound introspection became the crucible within which the deepest mysteries of existence were transmuted into verses of profound insight. As he himself once declared, to be great, be whole, exclude nothing, exaggerate nothing that is not you, be whole in everything, put all you are into the smallest thing you do. So in each leg the moon shines with splendor because it booms up above. The Book of Disquiet In the labyrinthine depth of time, destiny often conceals its most profound treasures, awaiting the fortunate encounter of a curious soul. Such was the fate of Fernando Pessoa's masterpiece, The Book of Disquiet, an ethereal manuscript discovered within the wooden confines of a long-forgotten trunk, whispered into existence only after the poet's departure from this mortal realm. Unveiled to the world posthumously, this remarkable work defines conventional categorization, transcending the boundaries of fact and fiction. It is a paradoxical testament, a factless autobiography and a biography of a person who never existed. As Pessoa himself wrote, I am an absence of a fictional being. The Book of Disquiet manifests as a paradox, akin to the labyrinthine corridors of the mind. Its structure eschews the shackles of a linear order, meandering through the labyrinth of thoughts, emotion, and dreams. It invites us to traverse spaces as both seeker and sage, as it offers the tantalizing possibility of experiencing its revelations both forwards and backwards, an ever-unfolding tapestry of introspection. Within these hallowed pages, Existentialism cast its enigmatic shadow, mingling with the echoes of solitude that haunt the human spirit. Pessoa, through his myriad of voices, implores us to confront the existential abyss, to question the very fabric of our being. He writes, I find that all existence is profound, and that emotions only model it. To be human is to plunge into the abyss with only the strength of our own consciousness to guide us. In the book's depth, we embark on a voice of profound introspection, navigating the turbulencies of the human condition. Through its words, we delve into the depth of our own souls, grappling with the internal question of meaning. As Pessoa contemplates, to be understood is to prostitute oneself. I prefer to be taken seriously for what I am not remaining humanly unknown, with naturalness and all due respect. In the sacred realm of the Book of Disquiet, the boundaries of reality dissolve, and we are back on to embrace the ambiguity of existence. It is a transcendent testament to the enigmatic nature of our journey, an invitation to unravel the threads of our own disquietude, and to forge a personal myth amid the swirling chaos of life. Heteronyms Within the kaleidoscope of Fernando Pessoa's literary cosmos, a constellation of alter egos shines forth, casting their radiant light upon the pages of his written tapestries. These multifaceted entities, known as heteronyms, emerge as guardians of his creative realm, is possessing a distinct voice, a unique character, and a compelling backstory. Alberto Cairo the shepherd poet embraces the simplicity of nature, his verses blooming like wine flowers upon the rugged hills, 
Ricardo Ries, a disciple of ancient wisdom, weaves arts to the gods with a touch of stoic melancholy. Alvaro de Campos, a tapestrous seafarer, navigates the tumultuous seas of modernity. His words crashing like waves upon the shores of our consciousness. His heteronym, an individual universe unto itself, dances upon the stage of Pessoa's imagination, breathing life into their narratives and contributing to the symphony of his literary legacy. As he claimed, I possess all personalities, and I do not possess any. It might seem strange that I make such a claim, but I make it without it being strange. Pessoa, the master puppeteer, attributed his manuscript to these varied personas, bestowing upon them a creative power beyond measure. Through this astonishing feat of imagination, he forged a new path in literature, defying the constraints of a singular voice. By granting autonomy to his heteronyms, he transcended the limitation of his own perspectives and invited us to witness the boundless potential of the human mind. Legacy and Impact In the first theater of literary immortality, Fernando Pessoa's presence flickered with a quiet brilliance, known to only a few during his fleeting existence. Yet, as the curtain fell upon his earthly stage, a profound revelation emerged. A revelation that continues to shape the literary landscape to this day. Thousands of manuscripts, delicate fragments of his fragmented mind, have been meticulously curated, edited, and unveiled to the world, granting us a glimpse into the enigmatic depth of the Pessoa's imagination. Among these treasures, the Book of Disquiet stands as a sentinel of his existential musings a work that defies categorization and resonates with diverse audiences. Pessoa's words echo through the corridors of time, whispering, chance is the nature of fate, and consequence is the nature of choice. When they intertwine, the universe reveals its secret dance. Within the depths of the Book of Disquiet, Pessoa's masterpiece lies a wellspring of wisdom an invitation to delve into the profound depths of existence and identity. It is a journey that traverses the labyrinthine corridors of the human psyche, a voice that unravels the fragile beauty of disquietude. For in the realm of the Book of Disquiet, we are reminded that life's dissonance need not be silenced but embraced, that the very fabric of our being is woven with threads of contradiction and longing. Pessoa, the maestro of introspection, beckons us to unravel the enigma of our own existence, to embrace the multitudes within us, and to dance upon the precipice of uncertainty. So, dear viewer, I implore you to embark upon this odyssey of self-discovery, delve into the boundless realms of Fernando Pessoa's literary universe, for within its ethereal landscape lie the keys to unlocking the mysteries of the human condition. Let his word stir your soul, awaken your imagination, and ignite the flames of introspection within you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting videos.